there is a lot of water in our atmosphere. I went to a few websites. I just did a Google how much water is in the atmosphere, you know. And uh, this is the USGS website, usgs.gov, Science for a Changing World. The USGS Water Science School talks about there is always water in the atmosphere. Clouds are, of course, the most visible manifestation of atmospheric water. But even clean air contains water, water in particles that are too small to be seen. One estimate of the volume of water in the atmosphere at any one time is about 3,100 cubic miles, or 12,900 cubic kilometers. And it goes on to say that uh, if all the water that's in the atmosphere were to rain down at once, it would cover the globe uh, to a depth of about one inch. And this is confirmed on a number of websites, but I'll just show you one more just for the sake of argument here. This is the Y Files, the science behind the news. They have an article, How Much Water is in the Atmosphere. It says, At any moment, the atmosphere contains an astounding 37.5 million billion gallons of water in the invisible vapor phase. This is enough water to cover the entire Earth, land, and ocean with one inch of rain. And, of course, goes on to talk about that as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of water in the atmosphere. I think we all kind of just know that, but I don't think we've ever really thought about what that means. And so, uh, I'm thinking if the atmosphere, especially over water, is made up of zillions and zillions of tiny convex drops of water, then collectively, perhaps they all combine to make one big convex lens, in which case it would act like a magnifying glass. Okay, so with that in mind, let's look up some websites dealing with the refraction of light might see a graphic something like this showing light bending downward and here's your typical graphic showing how uh, light rays entering some sort of medium like in this case water refraction causes the light to bend downward now we've all seen pictures of you know a pencil or something in a glass of water and how not only does refraction bend the image downward it also magnifies it I'm going to say that again. Water causes refraction, bending the image downward, and magnifies it. So this is important now. So now, now back to another clip from that previous video. The science is the same of that of a lens. Here's a simple example. So if you're looking at, at uh, Chicago here, just maybe you can, now you can just see the top of, uh, of the Sears Tower, and if our simulated uh, temperature inversion moves into place, Hopefully now you can see all of, pretty much all of yeah, Chicago, see all the lower buildings. including including what's at ground level. So the atmosphere really is like acting like a lab. Yes. Science is the same of that of a lens. Here's a simple example. The atmosphere really is like acting like a lens. Yes. 